Shalom, Shalom, this is the brother number one coming to you with another lesson in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh giving all the praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bahashem Rakak Uh giving double honors as always to, to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. And peace, blessings, and salutations always goes out to the Arkham out there, the hopeful elect pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. So, yeah, brief one. Um, I'll make this a brief one, Lord willing. As you can see, the title there Africa must save the world from homosexuality. This is from the Ugandan president. All right. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, man, Esau is fervent in this. He is pushing this or attempting to push this hard. It's the most important agenda. Um, well, how can I put this? It's the most important agenda he has that is uh, public or out in the open, so to speak. He has plenty of agendas that are, you know, secret agendas, man. But this one is uh, out there because he's already convinced the masses that this is, you know, righteous to 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 um, to defend this kind of behavior, man. Um, it says you you worry. Museveni insists that LGBTQ people are a major threat to the procreation of the human race. And he's right, man. <clears throat> One thousand percent. Why? Because Oh man, this is a you know, the scriptures talk about we're not um ignorant of Satan's devices because what? This is one of his devices on how to deplete the population, man. If you have people running around being confused about what they are and what their sexuality is Eventually, you're going to run out of uh, people that are procreating on this earth, man. All right? Which is the natural order of things to procreate, to continue um, life on this earth, man. But you are pushing people into the mindset that, you know, it's not, it's not, um, it's not the way to go. We're obviously, according to the scriptures, it is, man. Right, and uh, this is another case of Esau pushing his wicked ad agendas, man, his doctrine indoctrinations upon other countries of the earth, man, other nations on the earth. Now, Babylon is going to be destroyed for all of this, man. It's Babylon that's going to pay for all of this. So as much as, uh, you know, America, a.k.a. Sodom, spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah, attempts to, to pile this wickedness upon other nations, man, it's going to be destroyed for that. All right. It's Babylon is the place that's going to be wiped out. So let's read some more of this. Uh, it says the African continent should lead the way in saving the world from homosexuality. Ugandan President Yoari Museveni has declared as he prepares to sign into law an anti-LGBTQ bill passed by the country's parliament last month. <clears throat> and you know, you think um, Esau doesn't know what he's doing? You think Esau doesn't know that? They know the history, man. So they know that places like Uganda, Nigeria, and uh, um, Ghana, places like these, man, are full of jakes, man. Right? Full of jakes. Full of Israelites. So once again, he's using all his powers to try and keep our people away from being righteous, man. Or you know, although we know they're not righteous anyway, the majority of them, and none of us are fully righteous, man. The scriptures say that our righteousness is as filthy rags. So even that's even us in the truth, man. You know, the Lord has been merciful in allowing us to have this knowledge and to teach it. Right, but we're 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 not right. We're not we're not nowhere near. The righteousness that we're supposed to be but we strive towards it all right but Esau's trying Esau's done everything in his power to keep us away from our power by filling our minds with all this wickedness man these wicked ways and our people are quick to follow man so it says um it says, the bill which Amnesty International has slammed as appalling and vaguely worded imposes the death penalty for aggra aggravated homosexuality and life imprisonment for the recruitment, promotion and funding of same-sex activities in Uganda. So 
So yeah, I mean, look, and that's and that's um, that's that's scriptural, man. Right, it says what? It says imposes the death penalty. Well, I'm gonna get these scriptures anyway, man. But we'll get to that. It says the U the UN High Commission Commissioner for Human Rights has urged the president of East African country not to sign it into into law, not to sign it into law. But Museveni ins insisted on Sunday at the first ever interparliamentary conference on family values and sovereignty in the Ugandan city of Entebbe that homosexuality is, homosexuality is a major threat to humanity. Remember, the scriptures say that Esau is as deaf, man. He's as, he's as deaf. So everything that he... he um. Anything he puts together, he plans and he plots and he schemes, man. It's all for the detriment of the human race or, let's say, the nations of Earth. That's, that's a better way to put it. Because Esau is not really, you know, he's a basis of men, man. So he's far from human, man. And his, the things that he does, uh, even not going down to the low-level Edomites, man, are uh, just not normal all right so he's doing everything in his power to you know to be as wicked as he's as he supposed to be he could you know that's his way he can't help it and that's why he's trying to spread this this uh lgbtq uh indoctrination around the planet man <laughs> you know for and, uh, and like i said also for population control he has many means of doing that and it all adds up in, at the end of the day so getting back into this it says if people of opposite sex stop appreciating one another then how will the human race be propagated exactly he inquired while interacting with lawmakers from 22 African countries and the UK who had gathered for, for the two day conference Museveni said that the existence of so called conversation therapy meant that homosexuality is reversible and curable and that it should not be perverted or propagated but rather confined and it's true because even the lord forgives can for, uh, forgive you and clean you up from that sin when i say even the lord of course you know i didn't mean it to sound like that but the lord can do that man there's you know this is sort of the scriptures talk about the blasphemy of the holy spirit is the only unforgivable sin man so you can you can be uh, uh you can be changed from that man. It says the president of the East African nation also assured the gathering that there shall there will be no comprehensive sexual sexuality education in Uganda, saying that children need to grow as children, and that's also correct. There's one LGBTQ activist who attended the conference anonymously via Zoom said African leaders were aiming to reject American influence and trying to come up with an African strategy to fight homosexuality. Exactly. The American influence. That's the indoctrination. That's that wine, man. Well, that's that wine. Let's get into the scriptures. I'll get this first because I've got it already, but I'll get what I was going to get afterwards. So this is Romans 1 and 24. It says, Wherefore, Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanness through the loss of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. It says, Who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator? Who is blessed forever. Amen. It says, For this, Yahweh gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And it says, The Most High gave them up to these affections, man. So even though um, Esau's pushing it, this is the, the Lord is making Esau do this, man. You know, to, to, people are being condemned by this behavior. And Esau's condemning himself heavily. He's going to be destroyed for this man. 
It is for even the women to change the natural use into that which is against nature. So we were just talking about that, man. It's against nature. It's against the procreation, the natural way, the natural way that the Lord made it. You know, man and woman coming together. You know, through uh, through sex, through sex, to create children, man. It says, and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was me. Right? And all these, these so-called Christians who are into this LGBTQ business, right, you're condemning yourself. The scriptures clearly tell you. So you're skipping over these precepts, man. You know, you're skipping over them to do what you want to do, man. Verse 28 says, And even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge. Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. And why are they not convenient? Because they bring nothing. If, if anything, they bring you uh, bad times, man. Diseases. Um, you know, demons, man. Let's not forget the demons, man. It's, that's a demon on you. That's a demon on you, man. <clears throat> So Leviticus um, 20 and 13 says, If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. You see, so that's what, that, what that they're proposing in Uganda is righteous, man. It's righteous. You know, I'm not saying they are righteous, but it is righteous. All right, and we can talk about this thing. We can't. These are things that we can't do in this world right now because Esau's ruining it, man. But this ain't gonna be happening in the kingdom. You think you're gonna, you know? That's not to say that the some of these heathens and these nations are gonna try doing some of these things because they still are gonna be, <coughs> you know, they're still gonna have, um, you know, we're gonna be righteous basically, and they're not. So they're still going to be capable of going off, I'll put it like that. And that's why we're going to be there to put a boot up their ass, man. You know, cut all that shit out. That's not going to be happening like that. But yeah, man. So it says, uh, they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. <coughs> Even though the Most High put that, you know, put them in that spirit to do so, man. All right, because that's just the way it is. People have their um. People have people have their destinies. Basically, their fate is what it is. What the Most High has made it to be. Habakkuk two. And four it says, "Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him." But the just shall live by his faith. And that's Esau, man. You know? It says, um, Yea, also because he transgresseth, transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keep it, keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied. But gather unto him all nations and heap of unto him all people. And that's what he's trying to do with this, man. He wants control, basically, over everybody. And he's, you know, how many times you want to go, how, what? Imagine Uganda trying to go into America, a.k.a. Babylon, a.k.a. Sodom and Gomorrah, and trying to tell them what to do. It, it's unheard of, man. People don't see this. It's unheard of. That's how proud these this devil is, man. You know, he thinks he can go into another country and just tell them what, uh, uh, what to do, man.
um, I'm jumping down a bit. It says, verse 8 says, Because thou hast sport many nations, all the remnants. This is Habakkuk 2 and 8. So like, a, because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the city, and all that dwell therein. So this is where that that, that World War Three comes into play, man. These countries are going to hesitate. These nations are going to hesitate to put the sword, you know, to, 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 to America, man. Verse 15 says, Woe unto him that giveth his neighbour drink, that putteth thy bottle to him, and makest him drunken also, that they that thou mayest look on their nakedness. And that's that, that drink they're trying to give to the, these African nations is is a LGBT, LGBT uh, business, man. It's for them also to be wallowing in iniquity like Babylon is, man. You know, that's what they're doing, man. That's what they're doing. Let's jump her to um, jump her to Jude. Actually, I will start from far, from three. So Jude, it's only one chapter, uh, verse three. It says, Be Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. This is why we don't bend Right, we don't bend to the will of what the world is trying to say, man. Right, we don't do that. We 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 bend to the will, or we are under the will of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, man. Not like these false preachers in these churches that are claiming that they they're gay, and they have a relationship with Jesus, man, and all of this stuff. We know we don't call our Lord and Savior that by that name, man. And we don't even, I don't even like really, I don't even like saying that name, man, but sometimes you have to say it. But we, 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 we believe on Yahweh, um, uh, why Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is the name of our, our Lord and Savior, man. Right? And he, and he doesn't follow after the ways of this world. He doesn't, he doesn't teach what the, 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 the these, uh, so called pre preachers teach in this world that you can, you can, uh, have a same sex relationship and still, uh, be dealing or be being dealt or still be, be being dealt with by the most high man that's not how it works you can't you can't change the, the scriptures and the laws to your will it says um and to exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith we have read that which was once delivered unto the saints right for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of our, our power into lavishness, levis, lasciviousness, like, uh, and denying the only Lord Yahweh and our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Right? And I will therefore put you in remembrance though ye once knew this right so how do we know this because we're this we are where our ancestors coming back how that the lord having saved the people out of the land of egypt afterward destroyed them that believed not so all these all our people that are running along with these doctrine indoctrinations man are going to be destroyed man all our people that are involved in it Right, any one of them that's out there in Uganda and, and all them other west, east and west, um, coast, uh, lands, man, that which you know, wherever our, our people are, man, anyone that's getting along with this, are going to be destroyed, man. 
and the angels which kept not their first estate but left their own habitation he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day even as Sodom and Gomorrah and cities about them in like manner giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example suffering the vengeance of eternal fire so what's that tell you man all those that engage in this behavior all those that are pushing this behavior are going to be absolutely obliterated man all right in that great day when you have a shot comes back man and world war three is kicking off and the chariots are flying around uh, smashing up the place all right that's what's going to go down isaiah 33 and 1 says woe to thee that spoilest and thou wast not spoiled and dealest treacherously and they dealt not treacherous, treacherously with thee when thou shalt cease to spoil thou shalt be spoiled spoiled and when Thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously. They shall deal treacherously with thee. So that's going back to, you know, the judgment that's going to fall upon Babylon, aka America, when the world turns on it. Because the world's going to turn on America, man. They think they're in full control. That's why they think they can go into other countries and tell them what to do like that. Right. Uh, Amos 9 and 8 says what behold the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob saith the Lord I think that says it all remember that place is going to be an astonishment man right foul beasts are going to be there man all the desert creatures man because then we'll, and it's going to be uninhabited i can't remember where that scripture is but um you know the one that's that place is going to be left desolate man never going to be um inhabited again for all the wickedness man as an as, a, as an example to the other nations man revelation 14 and six it says and i saw and i saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people saying with a loud voice fear yahweh and give glory unto him for the hour of his judgment is come and worship him that made heaven and earth and sea and the fountains of waters so that's what we're supposed to worship yahweh shai and with the teachings of man and to follow the teachings of i should say all right verse 8 says and there followed another angel saying babylon is fallen is fallen that great city because she made all nations to drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication because basically babylon is trying to make everybody else come under its spell so you know um because they're the, the fate that they're going to dealt be dealt with is not going to be fall upon any other nation man so no matter how much they try and push that their doctrine indoctrination out there man this is the lord's coming for them yahweh yahweh shia is coming for babylon man all right so yeah and they ain't going to stop man they ain't going to stop until they stop they're going to keep pushing it because they think they have that power but anyway uh yeah, that's all I got on that. Um, Lord, when it was edifying, as always, I pray that it was. And uh, I want to give all the praises on the Lord to Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, Shemukar, Kudash, and I'll say Shalom to the next lesson.